Okay, so um, do you want to tell us a, l a little bit about how we're going to protect the ice climbing today or, or what we use? So, well, we use ice screws. Uh, you have different sizes ice screws. They vary from 10 centimeters to 22 centimeters. So you have a, a wide range. Basically, you need to, to have a look at where you're going to place your ice screw. So you don't want to put it on the bulge, but you want to put it on a, on a vertical yeah. face. Nowadays, the, the ice screws are very easy to, to, to start engaging. If you keep the, the pick really sharp, it's super easy. So the way you do it is you need to be in the position where you don't want to be too high because it's hard to push in. You want to be next to your, next to your waist. It has to be horizontal. You, what do you want to, you want to make it bite to start with. So you try not to wiggle it. So you try to slowly engaging it slowly and when when it bites if you can find a if you have one of those it's actually really good because it uh, makes it easier to to yeah. spin it around so then you just super easy just spin it and what you want to see is a carrot of ice coming out so you see this oh, is nice. perfect placement you need to have the hanger flush to the ice so this is a perfect placement when you engage your ice screw, if you feel there are layers of bubbles, the more you go in, the more you might find other layers, then a longer will not make, any more, make it any more safer. Yeah. But of course, you, I mean, it depends on the thickness of the ice. You, you, sometimes you don't know, so you try, and then you can, if you don't like your ice screw, you can always put another one next yeah. to it. So obviously you can, if there's a lot of um, ice, for example here, I can just clean it. And then here, for example, this would be a very good spot to put your ice screw in. Yeah. See, good ice is coming out. Do you feel the consistency when you drive it in? Yeah, it's feeling like there's a little bit of resistance. So if there was air, then you would, there would be, you would feel it go, it'd spin really rapidly. Cool. And how strong are they compared with um, like rock protection. I don't know the uh, the actual kilo newton, so you might have to, you might have to search that. But you can hang off a truck of this, and I'd be confident <laughs> it wouldn't go anywhere. Yeah. Obviously, ice changes as well. And if you were if you were going to stay there for a few hours, maybe the ice crews would melt. If it was warm, so. So what you're saying is, they're good if the ice is good. Exactly. Thanks for that, Isabel. I am still a little bit scared though. Don't forget that Boomfest is coming, so head over to the Epic TV website to submit your 60 second adventure film. The winners will receive up to 25,000 euros worth of prizes. Yeah, 25,000 euros. It's got to be worth a punt. That's all we've got time for this week, guys. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.